hope we're all back in. I'm going to dawdle for two seconds because there's some empty seats and some open doors back there. Can I just get one more round of applause for this awesome evening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why else am I up here if not for applause, right? <laughs> all right. So I don't know how many of you have done some heavy lifting, but this next speaker is going to tell us how to move a train. Let's welcome Ed Lopatagi. So this is a lesson in active citizenship and the power of ideas. That influencing public projects isn't as hopeless as you might imagine. The story is true. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to move a train. Urbanization. It's a thing. It's a global thing. And now, it's a Dallas thing. But with increased population density comes a higher need for mass transit that works. For Dallas, we've been suffering with the DART light rail system that bottlenecks if somebody farts too loud between Pearl and West End Station. We've been long overdue for a new path through downtown. But hey, the magic money tree is more like a bad shrubbery. Oh, and the plans call for flattening a bunch of people who live here. What do you do? What do you do? Shoot the hostage? You may have heard of NIMBY, not in my backyard, out of sight, out of mind. It's a suburban attitude that's obsolete in an urban environment, because in the city, everything's in your backyard. Now try Nimbler on for size, not in my living room. A little bit harder to deal with, trust me. But everyone still needs the train. How did it come to this? What now? So you have to move a train. It's a textbook definition of a grassroots movement, by the people, for the people. But certainly there are challenges. For one, shit's complicated. I mean, how do you explain that for DART D2 you need a B4 alternative, not to be confused with B4A, and my new B4E is right out, BTW you need the DCC to vote on the LPA for uh, the FTA ASAP, FTW. Then there's the fact that public projects lead to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to litigation. It's the foundation for the new economy. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's the complaint economy. Here's how it works. You bitch about stuff. You don't get what you want? Well, you make some signs and you chain yourself to stuff. If that doesn't work, well, you call your attorney, attorney and sue. What's not here? Solutions. To move something like a train, you need a minimally viable solution. And here's mine, the actual thing in Photoshop, drawn with a fat brush, because I couldn't bother to use the path tool. Now, the MVS is only a spark, a beginning. You have to show it to others and tell them why you think it's a good idea. Because no idea survives human contact. When you share solutions and not complaints, people listen. Before you know it, you spark momentum. People start to think. Your MVS evolves into something that's not yours, and it's super effective. But you can't just let it roll from there, camped out, pressing like buttons on Facebook. You have to stay engaged. You have to get into the fray, and that's going to take some of your time, perhaps a lot of it. And you're going to have to fight for things. Healthy discussion is what leads to better solutions. Some may not understand completely. Some people may just be obstinate. It's OK. Keep the conversation lit up. Voices in the wilderness don't count. You have to convince others. You need traction. What was overheard in the Dallas City Council chambers that day? Ds. Who's the red? Why, we were. So we went from nine options that have been tossed around for years, we popped in a brand new option, and we got that one not only supported, but selected over the course of this last summer. That's pretty groovy. So what this tells you is the character of Dallas is transforming. 
The fact that we've had such a spirited conversation on transit is proof that people now care about what used to probably be the best place to film an apocalypse movie after business hours. The lesson here is you can move a train, but not by yourself and not all at once, and certainly not without some work, but it can be done. But now it's your turn. This isn't even the final word on this particular story. And there are many more stories in the city that need your involvement. So get your ass out there and do something about it. <laughs>